Two sisters embracing after weeks of hiding during the Russian occupation of Bucha. Vladislava Lubenets was confined to living in a basement with her children for 35 days. There was shelling all the time. Sometimes there was no water, sometimes there was no food. The scale of the atrocities committed in the Kiev region is still being assessed. This image shows dozens of bodies lying in rows on the edge of a graveyard in Bucha as authorities worked to identify the victims. In Brussels, the foreign ministers of the G7 and NATO countries have accused Russia of severe violations of international law. After the talks, Ukraine's foreign minister said he's cautiously optimistic that some allies will increase their military supplies. But it has to be done quickly. The battle for Donbas will remind you of the Second World War, with large operations, maneuvers, involvement of thousands of tanks, armored vehicles, planes, artillery. Either you help us now, and I'm speaking about days, not weeks, or your help will come too late. The NATO Secretary General said more support is coming, including Soviet era and modern weapons. Allies uh, uh, should do more and are ready to do more to provide more equipment, and they uh, realize and, and, and recognize the urgency. In reaction to the reported war crimes committed by Russia in Ukraine, the UN has suspended the country from Human Rights Council. Meanwhile, eastern Ukraine is bracing for an intensified Russian offensive. Ukrainian authorities are urging citizens to evacuate while there's still time. Tanya Royd, Virgin Media News.